welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jennifer jennifer okolo in case you are seeing my amazing face for the first time thanks for stopping by if you are a returning subscriber you guys know you are the real deal you are the real mvp thanks for coming back to the channel my name is jennifer and welcome to my first sit down video in 2023 i just want my first sit down video to be something um education i want my sit down video for this year 2023 to be something different from my regular vlogs or for me just talking about myself so my first um sit down video is a motivational video i get lots of compliments when i go out when i tell people i'm a mom of three and i'm still in my 20s like i get lots of compliments and i get dms more sometimes where people ask me how i go about being a mom and also being a baby girl also having time for myself to do what i like just to live life basically so i just thought why not let me just do a sit down video of me just seeing stuff i would want to do this year and stuff i have incorporated into my life to make me better i'm still in my 20s but i am also a mom i'm a mom of three amazing girls i am also married and i try to do my best to live my life by being a good wife by being an amazing mom and also living life for myself basically because i also want to live life i want to enjoy this life um I want to enjoy this life I want to just live life and be happy and I also want to make an impact in my generation and also in my life yeah so I just wanted to start this here sit down video telling you guys um, some things I feel I've done or I've incorporated into my life that has made my life better it's making my life better that I know would be helpful and useful to you so for me my number one point um how to become your best in your 20s what i am doing and what i feel would be best for you in your 20s is to know god and it's not like you knowing god because people are saying you should know god but to know god for you for you for you and not to know god because okay this person is going to church i have to go to church i just have to follow this person going to church but to know God for you and not only you going to church but you reading the Bible reading the Word of God knowing what's in the Bible what is said about your life about your destiny how to walk in faith how to walk in light just knowing God basically for yourself I want to have that personal relationship with God I feel most people in their 20s they tend to abandon God um, thinking they still have a long day um, they still have time now it's just the time to live life to have fun and abandoning God for me I feel knowing God this time um, in your life, knowing God in your 20s would make your path clearer, um, would make your path clearer, would also make you pray more, you have that relationship with God, you would have that intimate relationship with God where you want to pray, where you have to seek Him in any decision you want to make. So you knowing God for yourself, praying for yourself, reading the Bible, worshipping, just having that intimate time with God would really push you and move you to walk towards your destiny just having that personal relationship with god where if you want to make any decision even if it's a decision of you going across the road you ask him like you just have that presence of god in you and it will guide you it will make you um not fall into the wrong path it would make you walk towards your destiny it will give you direction it will guide you so i feel how to become your better self in your 20s is for you to know god at first in my early 20s like i would be like yeah i know god but i know god i go to church i go to church i read my bible i praise the lord but as i grow i just feel and have that hunger for christ like i want to I don't know how to explain it, but I there's this song I always sing. I want you to know that I hunger and taste for you. Like I will have that odd that I want to hunger and taste for righteousness even more. I want to know God for myself. I want to fellowship with God. So I feel even in your twenties, it's not too early. Like it's even better to start early. It's better to start early for God to make 
direct your steps for you not to make any mistake for him to direct your path to send the helpers to your destiny just know god for yourself just have that intimate close relationship with god know god for that know god for god know god for yourself i always say i want to know god for myself i don't want to know god because my parents um ways of knowing god is this way but i want to know god for myself and for me another way you can become your best self in your 20s is to set goals for 2023 yeah set goals i never knew this was a thing i knew it was a thing but i never knew how important it was uh, i started setting goals let's say late 2022 i started reading more about goal setting about planning um then i started making plans i had to get like journals i had to get like planners just to plan my day i started with planning my day what i would want to do when i would wake up what would have for breakfast as a mom also i have to plan my day but i never knew i had to plan my day um i have to just write stuff down but as i grow older as i'm in my 20s i feel the importance to just set my goals write my plans what i want to achieve this year what i want to do um where i see myself in the next three months in the next two months the book i want to read it this year it's just good to set goals for yourself i feel if you set goals for yourself it would push you to do better you would want to do better you would want to learn more so just write that goals you want to achieve this year write it down meditate about it read about it always open your journal where you write your goals get a book get anything you want just get your book you can also use your phone at first i started using my phone i write like i write down notes of what i want to do i started with what i would do in a day i write down my itinerary okay in the morning i'll wake up so so time i'll wake up 7 a.m i'll give the kids their baths but writing it down makes it easier for me to achieve that goal i know oh, i've achieved this aim for today i'll take it off so just set goals even financially set goals where you see yourself um in the next two months what you would want to do where you would want to be in your career also just write down write down what you want to be for me this year 2023 that was when i started setting goals for myself like long-term goals where i see myself in the content world because i'm a content creator so this year 2023 i sat down and i write and i wrote down goals of what i would want to achieve this year 2023 where i see myself the content i want to put out this year like set goals with that i open my book i research i do more research i plan on where i see myself heading what i will do to achieve this goal so i feel setting goals for yourself would push you to do better it would push you to want to do more so even in your 20s i feel it's not too early for you to start making certain goals and trying to achieve certain goals at first i'll be like i'm still in my 20s but no the age is going the year is going the day is going i was thinking um last week the age i was last year it's not the age i'll be this year like every day you are no more the same age so you just have to set goals you just have to set goals and try and achieve those goals you have set for yourself i feel another way for you to become yourself in your 20s is to have a positive mindset guys like this is what i have learned recently and i have been holding on to that word have just have positive mindset even when i'm going down the hill and it seems like it is dark nothing is happening i just tend to have positive mindset everything is working out for my good everything is working out for my favor i have positive mindset like i don't like negative words around me like i feel if you have positive mindset you want to do this even if it's difficult with your positive mindset with words of affirmation you would be able to achieve that goal you have set for yourself just have that positive mindset have that mindset that whatever you put your hand is blessed like any day i wake up i'm like my hands are blessed whatever this hand touches would be blessed like i feel those words of affirmation those positive words they are yielding results they would yield results please don't wake up saying oh I, I i can't do this it's not possible i am ugly like that's how you feel 
and whenever you go out whenever i go out i just tend to pray i will just go out i am highly favored as i go out favor would follow me i am blessed i am favored whenever i'm going out that's my proclaiming proclamation yes i always proclaim i am favored whatever i put my hand into will be blessed even when there's a casting down we shall see there's a lifting up i just love putting in word of affirmation and i've seen it worked countless times i believe when you have that negative thought oh i can't do this oh i can't get that even if it's capable even if that job is supposed to be for you because you have said no that job is too big for me no they won't take me i feel it will just discourage you and bring your spirit down but when you have that mindset i can do it i would get that job i can do this it would just make things easy and you would want to work towards achieving that so so i feel it is very important to have positive mindset even with my kids i'm always telling them you are beautiful you are wonderfully made anything you touch is great your generation shall hear you for for good i just feel when someone proclaims positive things to me it calms my spirit and i proclaim positive things to my kids it gives them that confidence they need they know they can do anything and it would elevate them and give them that self-confidence i feel everybody should have a positive mindset whatever you're passing through now just have positive mindset and know everything is working out for your good and at the end of the day everything would work out great another way you can become your best in your 20s is by eating healthy guys like eat healthy like I never knew this was a thing till um, three years ago when I gave birth to my second daughter uh, Megan and I gained a lot of weight due to childbirth and breastfeeding and I started working out every day I would go for a run I would go for a jog i started eating right i started eating my veggies i started taking um fresh juice i stopped taking soda i stopped taking um stuff that are not healthy for me that was three years ago and i noticed lots of difference in my life in my system i was glowing differently when i look at my picture then the glow was very natural very bright i started feeling very light like just try and eat healthy i know they say what's that word there's this word that anything you eat now you will carry go down i know i know but try and eat healthy you won't wait like my mindset then before was okay when i get to my 40s i'll start watching what i eat maybe when i get to my 30s i'll start watching what i eat i'll start um doing exercise i'll start eating right but it has to start now it has to start in your 20s you have to cultivate that habit of eating right of knowing what to eat trying to measure what you eat knowing how many um calories you need to take in for the day just eat right um eat clean eat right and it will go a long way i feel eating right is not only for when you are in your 30s or when you are sick just try and cultivate the habit of eating right in your 20s make sure you eat that greens make sure you take that veggies make sure you stand up every day and stretch your body thank god for social media because more people are coming out to show you okay this is what you need to do this is how you have to wake up you need to do this you need to eat right this is what you have to eat thank god for that so i feel you don't have to wait till you get to your 30s or your 40s before you start eating right eat that veggies guys stop taking that soda stop taking that sugar and i feel one reason again why I, I started eating right is because okay i'm in that medical field not that i'm a medical doctor my husband is a medical doctor so i'm in that field we are here oh this person is sick this person has cancer this person has diabetes this person has high blood pressure so i'm aware of the health challenges that come with you not eating right or you not being healthy or you not being um fit so i think i'm aware of that and i just feel you don't have to get to that stage in your life where you would want to start eating healthy i believe in your 20s that's when you have to start cultivating that habit of eating healthy because once you cultivate that habit now once you get to your 30s once you get to your 40 it will be a lifestyle and that is how you live like now eating healthy for me 
has become my lifestyle i can go on i know okay this is what i have to eat this is the veggies i need to take and it has become a lifestyle for me in my 20s so i believe you can start eating healthy in your 20s so it will become a lifestyle so not when you get to 40 you start struggling with eating healthy and keeping fit so eat healthy in your 20s guys another way for you to become yourself your best in your 20s is to dress well guys like dress well i will say it again dress well like um just dress well i feel and i've um grown to know my style to know what is good for me to know what is good for my body and i will tell you i love my style of dressing now i get compliments every time i go out because with time i now know my style of dressing i now um follow people i like their style of dressing and i try to incorporate uh, what they um do i try to put my own style in it dress well i'm not saying you should break the bank you have to buy the most expensive um outfit you have to buy the most expensive attire but no just know your style know what works for you know what works for your body and just dress well even if you are going to get grocery um you just have to dress well if you dress well it would boost your confidence 101 percent whenever i dress when i go for an uh, um, event i go to an occasion my confidence would increase one million times like my confidence would go up i would know okay i am looking my best i am looking well, and i'll get that instant confidence to want to talk to want to do things so dress well know what works for you know what works works for your body what works for your shape don't follow all trends like i feel some trends are not necessary and i see some ladies in their 20s because this is what is trending they want to follow their trend they want to buy this outfit because it's trending for me i don't really buy stuff that is trending because i feel you buying stuff that is trending it's just waste of money i don't really like wearing trending outfits i love um finding my style finding what is good for my body and i'll just find a way to make it work because i feel if i get something that is trending i will just wear that outfit for once and that is it and i don't really like wasting money on an outfit i love buying stuff that i know is good for my body i love incorporating um different colors like my neutral colors and my bright colors because i love my bright colors i love buying stuff that i know okay i can pair this shirt with two three um four shorts skirt and other outfits and it will still work for me i love getting stuff that i know okay is good for my body and i can style um and i can style it um in different ways and i will still wear that clothes so i don't like buying things that are trending i don't really like going into that trending phase because i feel it's just by influence um at a point it would just fade away and you will just be stuck so find your style find what works for you find what is good for you don't follow trend just dress um the way you would feel confident the way you'll be comfortable you will also buy what you can afford like i feel some people get on that pressure because they want to um follow trends and they just want to um what's the word now um they follow trend and they just want to compete with their age mates or with people that is not on their level they would want to get stuff because mr a uh because miss a or mrs b got the stuff i have to get it buy what you can um afford at the end of the day you are not um in this race with anybody you are just in this race living your best life and being happy uh yeah buy what you can afford don't go um above your your don't go above your means buy what you can afford buy things that make you feel comfortable that makes you look classy you have to look classy in your 20s i see some people in their 20s looking shabby shabby um looking not classy you don't look like um, a classy lady you go about wearing um mismatched colors look classy in your 20s guys i notice one thing now even when i'm going out to just get 
to hang out with friends i always wear my heels because i feel when you wear heels it gives you that level of confidence it elevates your um your your outfit it elevates you so try um know your style know what works for you and just live your life enjoy your 20s and be that classy lady that you are supposed to be so these are some of the stuff i feel you can be your best self in your 20s um i'm still working on being my best self i want to be my best self every day um, i'm still working on being my best self i try to um, read more I try to learn more stuff um, I want to be my best in my 20s and because I know that this would be like the part I would want to take and I'll take till I grow old so hope you guys enjoyed watching if you do please like subscribe share 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 leave your comments down below if you want more videos like this let me know down in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you and God bless bye